picture of Warden Cliff. Is it the same? Is it the same uh, method that uh, I think Gerald was mentioning? There was uh, so such an amount of energy coming from the Earth that they had to. Uh, he had to use uh, grounding plates that were like plates instead of rods to have more surface area. Yeah, I don't know about that. I just know that the same energy that you get from the center of a Tesla coil is the same energy Gerald's getting from the center of his coil. It's, mm, I see it's, what you're saying. It's all cold energy. So it was hilarious. I was talking to Joe about it, and he kept saying, well, can you, can, can you basically loop the system, right? And he's talking about the coil itself. And I go, well, why would you want to do that? It just, you have to put energy into it and leave it there as a starter motor, okay? Mm. You don't want to make all that energy that comes out of that initial coil and draw it back in a circle because you're losing power in the center when you do that, right? Because you're taking it away from it in order to get it to loop. So, right. the power that you pull out is simply a wire in the center of it. Now you're tapping the ether and pulling the cold energy out. Now you have like a thousand times the energy that you would for anything else. And you could store it in batteries. You could store it like Bedini does. Okay. And then just pull it out and run the starter motor. So it's a whole different understanding of how this works. You don't loop the motor on the top to get the coil running. You mm. build the energy pull the energy out and steal it like a robber circuit. And it just pulls it out and puts it off to the side in whatever your storage is. Then you take your storage and run your initial motor. You see, then it, it doesn't bog down on you. It's like trying to run your car and your carburetor. Okay. And all you're doing is it's half gas, half water instead of full gas. And it's just, it's thudding out on you. And so you can't build the coil field in the center because you're robbing the power in the wrong area. So you have to rob it from the ether itself. It's it's the right way to do it. And you're going to get power out of it. And it's going to be cold electricity. And it's going to be implosion power, not explosion power, which is much more powerful. Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Do you want to bring up a video, maybe play a video of like the cold electricity? It's so wild. Like there's, there's a few good videos out there of actual. Yeah, we can do that. Currents. And it looks completely different. Yeah. Bust out the popcorn people. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me, you guys go ahead and talk. I'm going to look for it real quick. Cause I think I, I have a good one. You guys remember that popcorn and like it was in the eighties or the nineties? It was like colored popcorn, like you put oh, the yeah. kernels in and it would pop colored. Candy, candy corn. Was it? Yeah. yeah, it was so cool. I I don't see that no more. You just haven't been to the fair lately. Got to go to a carnival. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, carnival sounds fun actually. I haven't been to one in years. Get some uh the elephant ears. Those are good. Yeah, those are good. Hmm. Not in that one. I'm glad we got your uh your rumbles set up. So now with just smooth sailing, we could just stream on rumble like every once in a while, you know? Absolutely. And uh, I know Gerald's going to be ecstatic because he can talk about all the stuff that he's wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah, if Rumble lets it go. Yeah, let me, let me do a Google search on that real quick just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure they're cool with it. Huh. Yeah, I don't know where I put that video, to be very honest with you. Hmm.
Sorry, guys. I'm just I'm looking, not seeing it. All good. I might have found one. Not sure how good this one will be, but try her out in the meantime. Yeah. And then off of circuit of these two capacitors. So those are just homemade foil wound capacitors separated by painting plastic uh, dial as dielectric. Um, and the simple thing about this circuit is that we can manifest many different types of electrical energy um, some of which are being called cold like some of which are being called dielectricity longitudinal waves and scalar waves so here's your in outlet there's your step up transformer here's your spark gap and there's your capacitor plates here's your load for your light bulb so in no way is the load from the light bulb connected to any form of natural conventional electricity um, pretty simple so one of the things that I'm going to show you here is that this electricity can work in many different ways um, one of the things that I want to show you quick is this cold electricity can obviously just light a light bulb. Wow. The feedback noise. But I don't that, know if that was from thing about this cold electricity. Yeah. Light a light bulb. Right there at the bottom. Now, to anyone who looks at water. this, they would say, well, that doesn't help. This is just water straight from the tap. Nothing special about it. I'm going to dip those in there. So now the whole thing is submerged in water. What happens when you turn the cold electricity on? Yeah. Oh, man, that's so cool. Pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, there's a video on uh, Instagram of Daniel Nunez doing something say, similar, okay, well, putting his finger in the water. What are some bulbs? He didn't release how he anything. did it though, not on that post. Right. Sure. They can't. What's this? This is a filament bulb. It's an automotive filament bulb. It's 12 volts. Probably like one amp. Huh. Um. Kind of strange there's not much to that right all the way in the water that shouldn't light at all right we should not have any light lighting up in that nice noise yeah <laughs> hey hold on i paused it here and Look at uh, it's recording something shooting up from the spark gap that kind of looks like drips right now, uh, but it's like little photon things or something. It's so weird, but I actually recorded the same effect by my own Tesla coils one time. Uh, right see if here. you can slow it down. Like you can slow down the speed. Get 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 to the point where you think it might be shown, and then slow down the speed on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Get a nice slow good look call, at it. Good call. So, I was monitoring right a UFO that way. way. I was not having oh. light. Hold on. 
Give it one sec. It's when he pans back down right over the spark gap. Mm -hmm. oh. Too slow. Here? Yeah, right here. See this? What's going on right here? Uh-huh. Oh, hold on again. Yeah. Right there, right there. Oh, yeah. You see all what of that? that? Some kind of distortion, yeah. You see what I'm It's a about? light. So there's a light right there, and there's some kind of distortion from the all light. Like um, up there. What the heck is that? It's coming off of the spark gap. The spark gap's right there. The spark gap's right there. Uh -huh. It's shooting up off oh, of the spark yeah. gap. <laughs> That's cool. Quite the weird anomaly, no? Yeah, it is. And, and he unplugged it, and then it stopped. One yeah, last the, time, stuff that? shooting straight up off the plasma. Oh, and then it turns it off. All right, back to normal. So I have an update um, on Rumble. Uh, apparently, we can talk about the stuff we want to as long as we emphasize it's not medical advice. They are less lenient. Are there? I'm sorry. They are more lenient than YouTube on uh, on that stuff. All as right, long well, as you well. emphasize it. Yeah. You can't do any medical advice regarding the COVID or anything like we that. We do not so. recommend sticking your fingers into open circuits and water <laughs> or as health advice. Uh, don't try this at home. If it's dipped in water. Yeah, don't this definitely don't try this one. Not light up if sure. I plug it into. Oh, this is sixty watt. Excuse me. I'm not going to try it anytime soon. <laughs> Again, it's doing that same thing shooting up. Sorry, I'm going to try to slow it down to show again right over the spark gap. Hmm. As he pans back down, we'll see that it shoot, starts shooting right here. Oh, right there, oh, yeah. right there. What the F? Oh, I got to charge my Right? Hand. Like, what, what is it actually shooting? Oh, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> it, oh, see, and then he turned it off. Turns I it think, off before it focused again yeah, to fully show it. There is, like, radiating some, some light on it so you can see it, maybe. It comes so right off of the spark gap. That's my version of the cold electricity circuit. Wait, maybe um, there is an alignment there. Yeah, it's coming off of the spark gap, though. You're right. It's done by your very own. See right there again. Oh, okay, the light See that right here? Yeah. The light comes on, and then it starts shooting out. It's shooting up, right? Yeah, right there. Where do you up here? It goes all the way up. Is it going all to the, the other up. side? Yeah, it fully crosses it. If you can see it up here. And there. And all the way up. All the way up. Crap, man. Yeah, little, look at that. It's all the way up there. Look. Thing. All the way up there. It's not it's not going to the other side. It's just going straight up. Right? Yeah. I see it now. It's going straight up, straight shooting across. What the he's like shooting like right? uh, protons. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like what the fuck is that? Straight up. I don't know. I don't know, dude. That's cool. 
Yeah, that is neat that you caught that. Nobody else saw it. <laughs> yeah, and I swear. I'm sure a lot of people. Where I have too. my own footage of. Everybody sees something different. That's what I love. And then stops as soon as he turns it off. So that's a 60 watt bulb. Ooh. Actually producing quite a bit of heat. That bulb's actually pretty warm. Um, the bulb is warm. This is just normal water. You should short the circuit out. The circuit doesn't short out. Because this is an unconventional type of electricity. This type of electricity. Yeah, the electricity is, uh, isn't confined to the conductor. Can manifest itself in several different ways. This is my favorite one, just because it doesn't really make any sense. Because the you can see the leads are obviously open. Huh. Two alligator clips. Very bottom of that water. And again, you can see the same thing shooting up right here. How long ago was this video posted? Um, let's see it. Uh, Please welcome no. and absolutely. Uh, here, uh, my apologies. It's on a playlist. Is it going to tell me six years ago? Six years ago. Mm. Depending on if he's active still, he might not respond. But I would leave him a comment and say, you know, like, uh, what the F is that? <laughs> I got one for you. You ready? Well, I don't know if he noticed it, to be honest. I don't think he noticed it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think a lot of people did. I didn't notice it until you pointed it out. And honestly, I didn't really know where the spark gap was uh, until uh, – he backed up the camera a little bit more. Yeah, I'm uh, going to look for my videos now of something similar. All right, boom. Um, but yeah, did you guys want to share what you were going to share in the meantime? Yeah, I'll show you. Or did you find another cold electricity video, Nathan? Yeah. Yeah. So watch the wire when it does this. Son of a hit play on this thing. Where's the... It's not showing me the play on it. Okay, is it still showing? Yeah, it is. Okay. You okay, you're gonna have to wait.
Esto me gusta. Oh, what's going on the bottom of that thing? He, he's putting a draw on it and he's pulling the energy out. It's what cold That's electricity wild. does. <laughs> 